it's been tried and it fully satisfies. It's been written and it's real that the Jesus heals us. Praise the Lord, Marquis. We'll see you next time. Hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And uh, welcome back uh, to Here the program, dear friends. Example: <laughs> <some story. laughs> Serpent. Yes. And was more subtle yeah. than any beast of the field. And now and today, really friends, we're going to be talking about a very simple subject, but true to the point of the following: that Christians need to get saved. Yes. Christians need to get to born again, they need to be born again, and also they need to get washed in the blood of the Lamb, yep. and then of course, now how does this happen, how will this be accomplished, get saved, be born again, get washed in the blood of the Lamb, how does that happen, well first of all, you have to hear the gospel, and it must be and he then, preached, and, also friends, and it must be to say this, the really gospel of the, the New Testament, it. or in other words, Christ and Him crucified, him risen again, of course, and, and so now, friends, ascended up into heaven, and then yes, coming again, the returning, and then this is so that, of course, Christ, not even when the Lord comes back, He's going to kill Everybody that's not like me, and also that's not like you, unless you're like me, and then if you're like me, well then he's, yeah, don't worry about but you've got to be like me, and if not, then well, you can go to hell! <laughs> yep. Excuse me. See then that yeah. he walks on this now, friend, you can go to hell, or you can be like me. Well, you can be like me, or you can go to hell. And, uh, the Lord said, in the last days, there's going to be many that say, Lord, Lord, hey, listen, didn't we prophesy in your name, and didn't we also cast out demons and heal the sick? Didn't we have... A Christian internet bundle and a Christian internet streaming service and also didn't we subscribe to Pure Flix <laughs> and the Lord is going to say to those individuals yeah you can go to hell you're just a bunch of Christian jokes <laughs> <laughs> and that's uh, kind of what the Lord thinks about these Christian jokes. Although you might not think it's funny or that these jokes are funny, but yet the Lord has already said that, uh, yeah, be in Christ or you can go to hell. But hey, look, if, if you're into this, another book, and not of the New Testament. Maybe you're not of the Emma KJV, but you're of the Why KJV? So it's not mine, but yours. Concerning church, well, the Church of Christ. You can go to hell. But look, hey, if you're into that sort of thing, fine, great, super. But you know, you make the decision. Look, maybe you want to live according to another book. Maybe the New Testament, King James Bible, my King James Bible. Representing here, maybe that's not for you. May I suggest maybe this is for you. The following: the trap prophecy, or uh, that uh, you got to make sure you supervise everyone else's kids. When they use the bathroom at Target, when you should be supervising your own kids. 
Yeah, that's real funny, man. And, but yeah, that's the kind of stuff you're going to see with these Christians. They're going to talk about days and weeks and months and years and feasts and festivals and flip flops and sizzlers and all of this stuff. The bathrooms and what part of your body you got to touch when you're pledging allegiance to a certain piece of cloth or a zip code or a dog catcher based out of a certain zip code. And now, friends, let's get to the point here. Let's really get to it. Uh, except the man be born again, he shall not see the kingdom of heaven. And now, friends, look at Hey, look, listen, and this is serious business. Only if you believe the New Testament. If you don't uh, believe it, never mind. It does not apply to you. But if you do believe it, or if you want to believe it, or if you want to pay attention and live like this, just go ahead and pay attention. But if you're one of those Christians with a capital S, S, <laughs> at the end of their name, then uh, yeah, you're not going to care anything about it. Never mind. Forget about it. Yeah, no reason to stick around and uh, just mad for no reason, or just to uh, <laughs> laugh <laughs> at the Christian jokes. to me first. But mainly, friends, today we're talking about Christians. Unless there's anybody else that's interested in it, the Bible, so to speak, whatever. Look, if you're into this thing, if this is your book, then you'd better pay attention. And uh, repent <laughs> of your lies and <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then also, friends, be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. And here we see, friends, the serpent yeah. And then, friends, the Lord will come on you and come in you. Yeah, the Lord wants to come in you, and He wants to come on you. Can the Lord come inside you? The Lord wants to be in you. He wants to be in you. But He's not going to force Himself to be in you. He's not going to force Himself inside of you. But the Lord wants to be in you, and the Lord wants to come on you and come inside of you. Yeah, will that be okay if the Lord comes on you? The Lord wants to come all over you. The Lord wants to come all over you. And he wants to come inside of you. Yeah, can you imagine that? Just have the Lord all over me. Come all over you. Yeah, man, he'd come all over you, man. Come all over your face. Come all over your body. Come all over your hands. Come all over your legs. Come all over your feet. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. The Lord wants to come all over you. And the Lord wants to come inside you. So, yeah. Who's going to sign up and uh, invite the Lord to come inside of you, to come on you? Tell the Lord right now, say, hey, Lord, come on me. I want you to come all over me, Lord. I want you to come inside of me. The Lord's saying right now, can I come inside you? Is it okay to come? Can I come on you? Yeah, you can say, yeah, Lord, come on me. Come inside me. Yes! Amen. And don't forget, friends, that uh, if this is not your sort of thing, then you can always change the channel. Or you can always just stick around and laugh. At the Christian Yeah, we're looking today at uh, all the stuff we're looking forward to as Christians, or as a Christian, I know I am, for instance, for example, take it as uh, in the New Testament. Now all of this stuff is in the New Testament, and you're going to find all of this somewhere in the pages between the first verse of Matthew, the Gospel according to Matthew, and then of course... The next one is uh, the last verse, the last chapter of the book of Revelation. 
a revelation of Jesus Christ. And that's this, friends. At the beginning, the Lord comes to earth and the scripture says, the teacher proclaimed, he said, the Lord has anointed me. And this was the Lord, Jesus Christ. He said, the Lord has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor and deliverance and so on and so forth. And then the Lord said, I'm here to seek and save that which is lost. <laughs> yep. And the next uh, thing we're looking at here, friends, is this, uh, that all have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. Now you're going to look, see friends, now the Lord came here in the beginning and he said, now unless a man be born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. And then this, friends, as well, also that uh, when the Lord comes back, uh, uh, he's going to kill everyone that's not like me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and say that again. When the Lord uh, comes uh, back uh, to earth, uh, that is when the Lord returns for the second time, he's uh, going to kill everybody that's not uh, like me. <laughs> yeah. And I'm looking forward to that as a Christian. According to the New Testament, MKJV, my King James Version. Yep. And look, friends, if you don't like that version, just use another one. But in the version I'm reading, the Christian Bible, the New Testament, the King James Bible, when the Lord comes back, he's going to kill, K-I-L-L, -L, everybody that's not like me and uh, or like you if you're like me and if you're not like me then uh, well you can go to hell <laughs> yeah or uh, if the lord's gonna come back and kill you <laughs> yeah if you're not like but only if you're not like me and if you're not if you're like me then uh yeah don't worry about it also if you don't believe it don't worry about it and uh, because all of this stuff is just uh make believe yeah and all of it, uh, never mind, it doesn't apply to you unless uh, you believe it. So, yeah. And by the way, dear friends, did you know that uh, as a Christian, <laughs> that I'm uh, not trying to get involved in politics or uh, violence, uh, even arguments, argumentation, confrontations about uh, atheism versus uh, theism and all that business. I'm not here to, to put down atheists or destroy or decimate uh, the argument of uh, any atheist. I'm here to preach the good news that uh, the Lord uh, is coming back uh, someday to kill everybody that's uh, not like me <laughs> or uh, not like you if you're like me. Yeah. And that's uh, kind of what we're dealing with today, friends. We're talking about it. We're dealing with it. We're living it uh, and we're demonstrating the proof of it. And this, this, friends, the living word of God, as we live, as we act, as we participate in the Holy Spirit, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, and long-suffering, meekness, gentleness, and all of those, friends. You know the deal, as uh, Biden would say. You know the deal. And also, friends, you know this deal. That to the Lord who will come back <laughs> and to kill everybody that's not like me. Yep. And not like you. If you're like me. But uh, if you're not like me, then, well, you can go to hell. Yeah. Uh, right after the Lord kills you when he comes back. Yeah, if he doesn't kill you first before he comes back. And this is all in the New Testament, King James Bible. If you're into that... And if you're not, then never mind. Forget about it. Uh, because, look, friends, you've got to be mentally ill to be into this book, first of all, according to the world, the society in which we live. Now, there's two kinds of normal, though, friends. And there's Christian normal, and then there's a normal, right? Or in other words, there's Christians, <laughs> and then there's normal. Uh, but, yeah, you can be either one of those, friends, in society that we're in now according to the New Testament. And as we said, we'll say it again. In society, there's Christian things uh, and there's normal things. Uh, yep, according to the New Testament. So you're either Christian or you're normal, right? You're either a Christian normal person 
or you're just regular normal, right? Meaning, or in other words, if you're in society, you're either Christian or you're normal. There's normal things, and then there's Christian things, right? So you're either normal or you're Christian in society, in the society that we live in, according to the New Testament. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So as we were saying, you're either Christian or you're normal in the society that we live in, that we're now in, friends. It's present <laughs> evil world, or the present evil zip code, if you would prefer that way. And also uh, in the Bible, the New Testament, there's nothing in the New Testament about pledging allegiance to a flag, a piece of cloth multi-colored or otherwise. Also, there's a, no admonition or commandment given to any Christians to show sufficient loyalty or to demonstrate a sufficient loyalty to any dog catchers or milkmen of a uh, particular zip code. Yeah, no, here's all it is in the New Testament. That uh, in order to be saved, you have to trust in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. And your house. And that uh, is for Christians. And if you're a Christian and if you're one of those Christians, <laughs> then listen up. This is for you. Right out of the Bible. And here it is. The Lord says this, Christians. Dear Christians, repent. <laughs> of your lies and of your hypocrisy. <laughs> uh, yeah, or the Lord's coming back and he's going to kill you. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah, and if you're into that kind of thing, then uh, you might want to stick around. And if not, then maybe you might want to change the channel. <laughs> yeah, because there's no use in getting offended or upset or angry for no reason. Because uh, it's just an act. And uh, yeah, but hey, look, if you want to get offended at an act, or angry at an act to go ahead or an actor because Christians are actors did you know or didn't you know and now dear friends that's the end of our time here we've come to the end for our lesson and uh, as the Lord is willing and provides the opportunity we'll meet again to pre preaching the gospel and to be discussing the way of the master and then also this dear friends until we meet again, we pray that the grace and the mercy and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ will be with you all. Amen. Yeah. And amen. Yeah. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. And then the book Acts. Yep. And then we'll try Romans. Okay. And today we're talking about this is now it's very important because we're attempting to make note of something that is very important germane to this idea of being a Christian but in fact, being a Christian, what is it? And where do we see this? And this will be in the New Testament. King James Bible. And yes, 
This is not the New King James Bible, so N N K J V. Also M K J V, as in my King James version. And you might have a different uh, King James version, and that's fine. Whatever, man, that's cool. And if you're into that sort of thing, great, cool, super. But if you're not into that sort of thing, and you're into, say, being a Christian, according uh, to the New Testament, M K J V. Yeah, my King James version. Then you're going to want to pay attention to this. And that if any man be in Christ, <laughs> yeah, he's a new creature. And uh, behold, all things are passed away, and uh, behold, all things are become new. Take a look, check it out. And then also, we are now ambassadors for Christ. And God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself. <laughs> and now, friends, we have that job. To preach the gospel to every creature and to bring those that are apart from God or the Lord to the Lord to God through the preaching of the gospel and ha, this the anointing of the Holy Ghost which is this friends that uh, there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved yeah whereby we must be saved and I'm talking about the name of Jesus and I'm not talking about your gardener as we've said but I might be talking about your gardener hey I might be talking about my gardener he's doing a great job out there but I'm talking about the Lord Jesus Christ and that is this friends he is this the Lord Jesus Christ, the King of the Mexicans, in other words, and then he is the King of the Mexicans, friends. He's the Lord Jesus Christ, the King of the Mexicans. And now what is the New Testament, or in other words, the Christian Bible? Because the Christian Bible is the New Testament, and the New Testament, dear friends, is the Christian Bible. So what does the Bible, or the Bible, in other words, so what does the Bible say about being a Christian? Being born again? Getting saved! Ha <laughs> ha! What does it say? And who does it say it about? Or to, or to? Or to think about it now. What does this have to do with being a Christian? Getting saved, being born again, and all this stuff. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. Well... Not anything, unless, uh, you know, you want to be a Christian according to the New Testament. <laughs> My New Testament. The King James Bible, that is. My King James Bible. And that'll be this, friends. That a Christian is in Christ. And if you're not in Christ, then you're not saved! <laughs> yep. Also, friends, if you want to be saved, that means this. you got to be saved by the Lord Jesus Christ. And by the preaching of the gospel through faith as the Lord anoints and opens up the heart through the preaching of the gospel which is this it is finished let's let's say that again let's let's just say it again it is finished yep that's the gospel friends right there not even in a nutshell that's it that's the whole tree it is finished yep and done finished completed by the work accomplished by the work done accomplished by and through the work that was carried out by the lord jesus christ and that's the truth friends that's the gospel according to the new testament king james bible King James Version. Emma! KJV, so to speak. And now what we're going to do now, friends, is we're going to say this. If you're a Christian, and you're not a Christian, according to the New Testament, King James Bible, my King James Bible, 
then you're not even saved. And uh, that's fine. You can go to hell. <laughs> yeah, if you want. And if you don't want, you can go to hell. But if you'd like, friends, you can be saved. You can get born again by this, the following manner. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. And your house. And it's got nothing to do with the Trump prophecy or voting for a particular dog catcher or pledging allegiance to a certain zip code or sports team or athletic league depending on your zip code but it does have to do with this friends believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved and then of course friends the Lord Jesus Christ he's coming back to earth and he'll be back in the twinkling of an eye, he'll change those that are in the body as they're caught up to meet the Lord in the air. And we're going to be changed in a moment, in an instant, friends. And that's called when the Lord comes back and takes his church away. Or you can call that the rapture if you want. If, that, if you're into that sort of thing, yeah, the rapture. But now one of the things we're talking about here today is... The anointing of the Holy Ghost but this has to do with the preaching of the gospel and for the purpose of people getting saved yeah and if you want to get saved according to the New Testament then you need to hear the gospel and if you want to be preaching the gospel you need to be preaching Christ it is finished it is finished and that is the gospel Christ and not Christ and this Trump prophecy or not Christ and you got to vote for this dog catcher or that dog catcher and not or not Christ and you have to pledge allegiance to this <laughs> piece of cloth while you are touching your body in just the right location using just a certain hand according to the instructions and directions and commands given by the rulers of this present evil world yeah and that's got nothing to do friends with getting saved going to heaven or being born again being a christian what that has to do with is this you can go to hell if you want but if you don't want you can be saved you can get born again you can get washed in the blood of the Lamb. Hey, who wants to get washed in the blood of the Lamb? Amen. I see that hand. Amen. I see that hand through the radio. Yeah. Nobody's looking. Nobody will know. Except for me. I see that hand. Hee <laughs> Yep. And... <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to the program, dear friends, the Christian program, because we're Christians here, and the goal, if you're a Christian like me, according to the New Testament, King James Bible, yeah. We're not talking about the uh, New King James Bible or ha, the New International Version or my New International Version. But we are talking about my King James Version. Yeah, yeah, the my King James Version. And what's the Christian response to uh, Billy Eilish? Also, what's the Christian response to... Dairy Queen, what what is that? And it's this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What matters is this, friends, that uh, you're either saved or you're not. And there's two kinds of things in this world, according to the New Testament. If you're a Christian, and if you're not, you're saved or you're not. And you can be like me, or you can go to hell. Yeah. You know what the Bible does say, the Christian Bible, the New Testament, it does say this, that uh, there is no other name under heaven given among men 
whereby we must be saved. And we're talking about the name of Jesus, dear friends. And by the way, as we've said, we'll say it again, we're repeating it. This is repeated information. We're not talking about your gardener. And we're not talking about my gardener. We're talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. And then, then of course, this, friends, Billy Eilish, or Elosh, or whatever. Or all <laughs> yeah. Also, nothing in there yet about the Trump prophecy. Yeah. So, we're still looking, checking it out. Haven't found it yet. And when we do, we'll let you know. You gotta be born again to enter the kingdom of heaven. And so now this is talking to all the Christians out there with a capital S. <laughs> S at the end of their name. And yes, yes, not all Christians. So take it easy, Christians. Just the ones uh, that uh, we're talking about here. Or in other words, yeah, just the ones in this joke. Or these jokes. Or that... Uh, just the ones that uh, these jokes or this joke has to do with or have to do with or will have to do with that all have sinned and uh, fallen short of the glory of God yep and uh, that this friends there's no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved and now I'm talking to the Christians with a capital SS at the end of their name and all Christians and here's the message from the New Testament to you, Christians. Oh, repent! <laughs> or else. Yep. What it has to do with is this. Christians, you need to get saved. And there's a lot of Christians out there that need to get saved. And there's a lot of Christians out there that need to get washed in the blood of the Lamb. Can I get an amen? <laughs> and today... Right. We're again Did you know why preaching the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we are preaching this that it is finished. Yeah. Yep. And what we're doing today is pretty simple. It's straightforward. We're preaching the gospel. Of the living Christ. In other words, we're here to preach this. That uh, repent and to be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And then you'll have the remission of sins. And then, of course, then the times of refreshing will come from the Lord. And then, of course, this is when the Lord comes on you. And when Jesus he comes inside of you and me, there's a lot of people getting that. The Lord's coming all over people and coming inside of many people. So one of the facts that we're dealing with today is this, that uh, there's a lot of people that need to hear the gospel of the living Christ uh, because uh, they need to get saved. And these are also known as Christians. Christianas <laughs> with a capital S S. At uh, the end of their name, yeah. And of course, if you're one of these Christians, then of course, then uh, in order to be saved, uh, they're going to tell you this: uh, that uh, you have to do this uh, and this and these things and those things and that. Uh, and oh yeah, you got to do this uh, 52 times a year consecutively every week for the rest of your life uh, or else uh, hashtag or else yep. that's another Christian hashtag by the way this hashtag or else yeah or else and then that's always followed by this ha ha or you can say ha 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 I win and then of course you can go to hell and these are 
the Christian is talking now, and this is what we're going to be discussing, that when the Christian is talking, what we need to have is this, a dictionary. Did you know the society has set a rule? The Los Santos. The Los Santos? Now, what are we doing here? And yes, I'm being serious. We're Christians. If you're like me, we're Christians of the New Testament, according to the New Testament, King James Version. M. King James Version, MKJV, not the YKJV, not yours, mine. And what are we doing here today, friends? Seriously, what is the point of being a Christian? What's the mission? And also, what is the method here, friends? Because, you know, we have to have a mission and we, we have to have a method. Now, if we know what the mission is, that helps us to understand what the method might be or should be or will be. Now, the mission of a Christian, if you're a Christian of the New Testament, of Christ, in Christ, belonging to Christ, of, from, and belonging to Christ, the mission is to go into all the world and act like Christ, be an actor. And also, the other thing that you're doing is you're preaching the gospel, which is that same thing, acting like Christ. Or in other words, you're supposed to go out and and perform the book of Acts, <laughs> chapter 29. Yep. And what we're talking about here today is this, the mission of the Christian that is of the New Testament. And yes, I know there's a lot of books out there and there's a lot of Christians out there of all sorts of books and uh, restaurants and also various zip codes and uh, they all do something different on uh, Sundays when they report for work in a different location and then of course most of them are meeting at the Sizzler after work on Sundays uh, 52 times a week a year and again you can go to church 52 times a week if you want but uh, you're required as a Christian if you're one of those Christians with a capital S S at the end of their name to uh, go to work punch in clock in for work 52 times a year 52 weeks a year consecutively consecutive weeks 52 consecutive weeks a year every year all year for the rest <laughs> of your life or else and or or you can be in Christ and you can be saved washed in the blood of the lamb and born again and or in other words you can be a Christian that is of, from, and, or belonging to Christ. That belongs to Christ, to your friends. That now you have this job to be this, the ambassador, an ambassador of Christ, preaching the gospel, reconciling the world unto God. As God was doing the same in Christ. Now, of course, friends, the price has been paid. The gospel is finished. That is the message of the preaching of the gospel. It is finished. And now, friends, of course, the next concern and issue is this. Who is a Christian? Well, a Christian is that person that is in Christ. Well, yeah, and what is that? What does that mean? Well, you're baptized into Christ, friends. And also, when you go into Christ, when you die and be, are raised again as in Christ, you have put on Christ. You are Christ. And uh, you, if you are Christ's, if you be Christ's, then are you now in Christ? And now, friends, let's talk about that. You're saved. You're born again. I die daily. For God has so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, and you know the deal, as we've said. And now, friends, what are we talking about here? A Christian is one that is in Christ, baptized into Christ, repents of their sins, is baptized for the remission of their sins, and is saved when the Holy Ghost comes into them and comes onto them. And the Holy Ghost and the Lord wants to come all over you and come inside you. <laughs> yep. And also, dear friends, uh, may I remind you of this, that uh, there's only one way to heaven. There's only one way to be saved, according to the New Testament, and that is this. There is no other name under heaven given among men, uh, whereby we must...
Costa! He saved. Yeah, but now listen, and that has to do with this, the following. That the gospel of Christ is the power of God unto salvation. And it's not, it doesn't have anything to do with the zip code or which or what flag you pledge allegiance to or where you touch your body when you're pledging allegiance to a certain piece of cloth uh, based on a zip code or whatever zip code you're living in or whichever sporting league you're into or whichever sports team you root for depending on your zip code or whatever it is that the rulers of this present evil zip code are telling you to do that you have to do like maybe you need to stop at this stop sign or you need to get your flip-flops over here or you need to shop at this store or that one or you need to use this type of teeth whitener or whatever but in the long run friends and now there's only one way you can be born again, one way to be saved, and that is this. There is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And we're talking about the name of the Lord Jesus, friends. And again, we're not talking about Jesus your gardener or my gardener although yes we might be we could be and my gardener is doing a heck of a job out there as a matter of fact if you need a gardener if you don't know my jesus if you want to invite my jesus into your life i'll give you his number you can call him up jesus all the mail tell him what you want uh, yeah and he's doing a heck of a job out there and he'll come into your life too and do do yours but now friends getting back to the gospel of christ the lord jesus christ the anointing of the holy ghost and the lord jesus christ who went about to doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil for god was with him and he was anointed with the holy ghost and with power yeah and friends that's the job of the christian is to go about uh, everywhere they go and to do good and to be healing all those that are oppressed of the devil yeah, but if you talk to most Christians today, what they're doing is they're hanging out at Sizzler and uh, trying to tell you 26 things you got to do in order to be born again. And then, of course, once you do those things, then you got to do this 52 times a year, forever, consecutively, <laughs> or else. And then we all, always, as I said, we meet at Sizzler after work every Sunday. And then, of course, 26 times a year or thereabouts, you got to do this on Wednesday. And now, friends, let's have a look here. Let's talk about the following. What must I do to be saved? Well, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And, and you know the deal! Now, one of the things we're talking about today, now listen, hey, this is important. We're preaching the gospel. And we're preaching the gospel, friends, of the Lord Jesus Christ. And yes, we're talking about the King of the Christians. If they're Christians of the New Testament. Yes, and a welcome back to the program. <laughs> yep, Christian program. The uh, Christian uh, show, if you will. And we're preaching the gospel today, dear friends. And this is the message we're preaching that it is a finish. <laughs> yep. Once for all, one time, once for all, accomplished by one, it is finished. And yes, we're preaching the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ here today, dear friends. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that uh, whosoever, you know the deal, and so on. Yeah, so look, if you're looking for something else, then you, can, then you might need to want to change the channel. Or maybe you would want to be here. Maybe you were looking for something else and you found this and you decided to stay for whatever reason. Or maybe you're one of those Christians and uh, you decided that you wanted to stay because uh, you want to disprove uh, the King James Bible. <laughs> yeah, because I'm using the King James Bible, friends. I don't know which book you're using or which version you're using, but I'm using this. The MKJV, that is this, my King James Version. Yeah, and I don't know which one you're using, but uh, you want, you can always use mine. It's my King James Version, and it says this. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, and so on. You know the deal! Yeah, you know the deal. And also, by the way, 
He sent his son in the world not to condemn the world, but to that to the world through him. And you know the deal. Yeah. So now what we're going to be doing today, friends, is we're going to be giving this following the altar call to Christians. Now you can come to the Lord if you want, or you can come to Jesus. You can repent of your sins, and you can call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. Yeah. Uh, Christians. Yeah. And the Bible, the Lord in the Bible is telling the Christians this. And look, yes, yes. Okay, look, we're not talking about all Christians. Okay, yes, also not, maybe probably not my pants either, or anybody that's like that so yes yes not all christians also yes not maybe also no not my kids but we are talking about certain ones and the ones in this joke and the ones that these jokes and this joke is based on or aimed at or that uh, are these jokes and so if you're one of these great if not super and if you're not into this and you feel that you're starting to get offended well then go ahead and change the channel no reason to stick around and get offended for no reason uh, and also, uh, for no reason, yeah, look, hey, if you don't like it, just change the channel or find another book. Huh. Because the one I'm using, as we said, is my King James Version. And it says this, for all have sinned and have fallen short, and you know the deal. And this includes, and especially it's for Christians, because this is a Christian book, friends. The Bible is a Christian book. And this book is for Christians. And this message is for Christians. For all have sinned. Everyone has fallen short of the glory, and you know the deal, and so on and so forth. You know the deal, and if you don't know the deal, then stick around, and we're going to learn the deal today. Now, that's this, that uh, you can be like me, or you can go to hell. <laughs> yeah. Or you can be like me, or else. Yeah, and then I'll see you at uh, work on Sundays, every Sunday, 52 times a week. Yeah. Or rather, 52 yeah. times a year, every week. Consecutively, or you can go 52 times a week if you want. But we'll see you at Sizzler after work on Sundays. Every week, 52 times a year, consecutively, or else. Yeah. yeah. So now what we're going to be uh, talking about now is this, friends. Uh, Christians, uh, that uh, they can repent or they can go to hell. Yeah, and also, did you know, dear friends, that the Bible is a Christian book, and that the New Testament is the Christian Bible, and that Christians are whatever they are, based on whatever book they follow. And if you're of the New Testament, King James Bible, the M KJV, that is to say mine, uh, yeah, my KJV, then uh, you're going to be saved according to this. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you'll be saved, and, uh, oh yeah, your house too. And uh, yeah, repent, uh, and be baptized uh, for the remission of sins. And hey, listen, did you know that uh, there's no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved? <laughs> yeah, and I'm talking about the name of Jesus, and I'm not talking about your gardener. But, uh, yeah, I, I could be talking about my gardener, and he's doing a heck of a job out there. And if you don't have a gardener, you want to meet my gardener? If you want my gardener in your life, and you can ask my Jesus to come in your life, and he'll come into your life. Just call him up, invite him, and he'll hop right in. Man, he's doing a heck of a job out there with me. And uh, speaking of gardeners, yeah, friends, we are talking about my gardener. His name is this, the Lord Jesus Christ. And he wants to come inside you, and he's already come inside me. And he wants to come all over you and he's already come all over me and friends let me tell you this now you can be saved and it's this way according to the new testament believe on the lord jesus christ and you will be saved and your house yep and also friends this that uh you can be saved or you can just be not saved it's all based on this that I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God. Now listen, friends, listen to this, look at this. It is the power of God. The gospel of Christ is the power of God unto salvation. Yes, the gospel of Christ, according to the New Testament. And this has got nothing to do, friends, with what kind of cottage cheese you eat or buy, or where you get your flip-flops, or even which dog catcher you're demonstrating sufficient loyalty to. Or also which uh, 
flag you pledge allegiance to, and also where you touch your body and with what hand you use while you're touching your body in a certain location, according to the instructions and commandments given by the rulers of this present evil zip code. Yeah, it has nothing to do with that. That's not how you get saved. According to the Bible, the Christian Bible, at least. No, and here it is, friends. You want to get saved? Here it is. This is how you do it. Believe, honor the Lord and Jesus Christ, and you will be saved and your house. And, and yes, it doesn't say anything about the Trump prophecy or Billy Eilish or Elish or Olosh or Enosh. No, what it says is this. You can be like me or you can go to hell. Yeah. And uh, Jesus, the Lord, not Jesus, my gardener, but Jesus, the Lord, is coming back. And uh, when he comes back, friends, and I'm looking forward to this. Uh, I'm looking forward to when the Lord comes back and he's going to kill everybody. <laughs> That's not like me. Uh, yeah, and or not like you. If you're like me. But uh, yeah, you got to be like me, friends. If not, then you can go to hell. <laughs> yeah, as we've said, uh, right after the Lord kills you. Yeah, unless he uh, kills you first. And then otherwise, then yeah, you can go to hell. Yeah, but you're going to end up going to hell anyways. But if you're not like me, then you better not die. <laughs> All on my way, off to Canaan land. I'm on my way, off to Canaan land. I'm on my way off to Canaan land. I'm on my way, glory, hallelujah. I'm on my way. Well, I'm on my way off to Canaan land. I'm on my way off to Canaan land. I'm on my way. I'm on my way, glory, hallelujah, I'm on my way, had a mighty hard time, but I'm on my way, had a mighty hard time, but I'm on my way, it's a mighty hard climb, but I'm on my way. I'm on my way, glory, hallelujah, I'm on my way, all along the way, Satan lies awaiting, each and every day, Satan lies awaiting, hear me shout and say, get behind me, Satan! I'm on my way, glory, hallelujah, I'm on my way. Fight the devil and pray, take another step higher. Fight the devil and pray. Lord, I want to climb higher, 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 chase the devil away. Away, Lord, I caught in his fire. I'm on my way, glory, hallelujah, I'm on my way, I'm on my way, oh, I'm on my way, I'm on my way, Lord, I'm on my way. Yeah, I'm better.